Uh, my name is Abraham. Uh, I'm coming from the Ben Gurion University of the Negev in Israel, and I'm going to present my work, which is titled as This Must Be the Place, Predicting Engagement of Online Communities in a Large-Scale Distributed Campaign. Now, before I begin, uh, first of all, this work is a collaboration with my uh, uh, colleague Alex and my uh, PhD advisor, Dr. Oren Tsur. And so before I begin, I would like to ask anyone in the audience whether you know uh, the Wall Street bets community in Reddit. Does anyone hear about it? Yeah, Alessandro did. I, I'm not sure I can see the whole audience. Now I see anyone else. You can also uh, raise your hand with you know, emotions. So Alessandro did, and I guess he heard about it because uh, of a very interesting story about Wall Street bets. Uh, so first of all, let's talk about a table content and what I'm going to cover. So first of all, I'm going to give you some motivation about on online communities. Later, we'll talk about the Reddit R plus experiment. Uh, thirdly, I will talk about our research goal, uh, data, and methods we have used. Uh, then we'll talk about our results. And finally, we'll uh, sum up with summary and future work uh, directions. So Wall Street bets. Um, it's quite surprising that only Alessandro heard about it because Wall Street Bets became a bit famous, although it's a quite a famous, quite a long uh, history community. So Wall Street Bets is a community. It's an online community. It's a subreddit in Reddit. And it uh, became, it, again, it, it exists for a long time. However, it became very famous and known after about 14 months ago, uh, after a historical um, collective action they took. So what they did, uh, they initiated a short squeeze campaign on a GameStop stock. So GameStop is a company and they uh, initialized a, a short squeeze campaign and they actually pushed their stock price extremely high within days. Uh, so here you can see the graph of the stock uh, through years and this January 2021. And the story got a very high attention from the media uh, because of the power and effect of such an online community. However, it also, it also got a uh, high attention because of a very high, a high loss of money to some of the biggest investor, investors in uh, Wall Street. Um, however, this is only an example of an online community and the power it has. This, our work is not specifically focused on Wall Street bets. It is rather about communities, online communities. So online communities are complex. They are complex because of many reasons. They consist of many users, usually thousands and even millions. They communicate in different ways. They text, they send messages, uh, photos, uh, sound, and so on. And uh, users might have mixed membership. So users are involved in different communities in the same time. And Importantly, they evolve over time. So once you analyze or model a specific community, it might be changed within hours, days, or weeks. But as always in research, with great complexity comes great opportunities. And we believe that online communities are fascinating. They are fascinating because they maintain internal norms and behaviors. And they reflect something about our real life. So once we see a phenomena in an online community, we can understand and think about real things that happen in our real life communities. And the most important thing, as far as I think, is that they are powerful. They are powerful because, because they can fight, they can coordinate, and they can engage. Now note that they can fight, coordinate, and engage between, the commu between communities and within communities, meaning that a community can fight with another community and also within sub-communities in the community or, or between users. So uh, this is really fascinating, and we are researching this specific domain of online communities. Now, another question to the audience. Has anyone heard about Reddit R Place? And, oh, Alessandro did. OK. Um, so Reddit R Place, I, I will give an introduction about it. Uh, uh, by the way, have you heard about it about this year or the exper experiment from 2017? back then. Okay, um, so on April 1st, 2017, a Reddit platform initialized an, a social experiment and they opened a new subreddit which was called Our Place and this was the description on the, uh, on, uh, on the community. It was written as follows. There is an empty canvas. You may place a tile upon it, but you must wait to place another. And this is a very important sentence. Remember it. 
along my next slide. What really happened is on April 1st, 2017, uh, Reddit opened a virtual canvas of 1000 by 1000 pixels, meaning the uh, 1 million pixels totally. And there were no guidelines, no defined objective. As a user, you could have placed a pixel on the canvas, but this is the big but, you had to wait five to 15 minutes before you place another one. So individually, you couldn't do much on the canvas. You could change a pixel, uh, or maybe some area, but while you get your friends community, you can do something much bigger. Uh, the experiment just ended surprisingly after 72 hours. The user didn't know that it's going to end. Um, Okay, so when I ask people, this, this, this picture is a picture of the canvas approximately two hours after the experiment started. And when I ask people, what do you think would happen in the canvas after hours, days, most of them say, ah, you know, just a big chaos, maybe a single color or fight between two colors, let's put black, let's put uh, red and so on. But what really happened is quite amazing. And I'm going to show you a video. Um, of the actual experiment. Now it's a fast forward video, okay? Um, every second here represent approximately four hours. And as you can see at the beginning, there is the blue effort, there is the green effort, red. And after a few hours, like 12 hours, you can see a lot of flags, national flags. And within seconds, you will see a, a big battle between two countries or communities. Uh, between Germany and France. Um, so you can see that Germany is going bigger and bigger. France is, you know, getting also bigger and bigger. And there is a fight between them. So Germany is conquering France. France is going up. And after a peace treaty between them, the uh, United uh, Nations or uh, the European Union comes in and there is a peace treaty. Again, you can see uh, what we call the black void here in the middle, trying to destroy other um, artworks. You can see a lot of flags, a lot of sport teams, a lot of US, um, um, US colleges, and so on. Uh, this is the final picture of our place 2017. Quite amazing. Uh, you can see a lot of artworks. Uh, again, a lot of uh, national flags, a lot of uh, team sports, a lot of internet memes. Um, surprisingly, Linux and so on. Pay attention to this picture. We'll get back to it at the, at the end. Okay, what is, it's uh, above the Linux uh, penguin. Okay, so we said, wow, this is amazing. Let's do something with it. And what we initialized is we started the research dealing with this experiment. So the first question we asked, and this paper is about this specific question, um, is to understand the factors that motivate decentralized communities to collaborate in such an experiment. Now, in order to understand the factors, what we did is we built a prediction model, classification model, in order to understand the, the aim of the model is to well predict which community is going to undertake the experiment, meaning the model aims to uh, classify which community is going to participate or not in the experiment. As you know, in order to uh, build models, we need data. So this is the next step we did. First of all, uh, we need positive and negative classes. So uh, just notations, okay, S plus are the positive communities. These are the communities that participated in the experiment. S minus are the communities that did not participate in the experiment. S and S, you can see it here, are the total communities in Reddit, the total active communities in Reddit. Okay, As you can see, of course, there are thousands of communities. However, only a very small portion of the communities did participate in the experiment. So to generate S+, plus, the positive class, it, was, it wasn't easy, but it was much easier than the negative class. We just looked at what happened in the experiment, and we pulled out from an, an um, for mainly from our place atlas uh, all the community names so our place atlas is an effort that was done by a redditor after the experiment and he asked uh, redditors to claim their victory on the canvas he asked them please uh, tell me and annotate 
where exactly you played. And people did it, and it's amazing. You can Google it and look for Uplace Atlas. If I'll have time, I'll show it a bit in the end. In order to create S minus, this is a bit challenging because one simple and naive way to create the negative class is just to take the whole S corpus or randomly sample, sample communities from S in order to create S minus. However, as you can see here in the table, uh, S in general is very different compared to S plus. You can see, for example, uh, the submissions, uh, you can see the median is three compared to the median in S plus, which is 2.3K, meaning that the distribution or the characteristics of S in general is very different compared to S plus. And if we would have taken S or sample from S for the negative class, then we would have not allowed the model to really work hard. And it would have been a very easy problem for the classifier later to solve. Hence, what we did is we created a data set, the negative class, based on a sampling that we did from S, controlling and preserving some of the characteristics of S+. Plus. Meaning that, for example, here, the submissions, you can see that the median number of submission in the positive class is very, very close to the uh, median values of submissions of the negative class. By that, we created a more challenging data set for the classifier later. Okay, so we have data. Next, we need to decide what are the models that we want to train. So, uh, oh, before the models, let, let's talk about data. So, as I said earlier, communities have a lot of data and they generate a lot of data. So what we did, we took three types of data. We took all the textual data of communities six months back from our place we created a graph per each community. So for each community, we created a social graph. Out of this graph, we pulled out structural features, for example, for example centrality. Uh, the third type of data that we pulled out are the metadata. For example, number of subscribers and number of posts per day. Note that we didn't take data along the experiment. We only took data prior to the actual experiment. So six months, back from April 1st, 2017. Okay, methods and models. So we first of all experiment with simple models like logistic regression, gradient boosting trees. Later we uh, experiment with more sophisticated and um, state-of-the-art models like CNN and BERT. Um, and we evaluated all models using 5-fold CV. Here in this figure, you can see how we combined the uh, textual features with meta features and structural features. I'm not going to elaborate more about this because it's a bit more complicated. All is written in the paper and I encourage you to take a look at it. But the how to combine textual features with meta features in such uh, a setup is not that simple. And a lot of effort was done on this specific uh, thing. Okay, uh, let's talk about results. So first of all, I'll talk about classification results. So um, we did the experiment with different configurations. So here you can see that uh, we tested L, M, and N. L stands for linguistic, M stands for meta, and N stands for network. And we also checked the combination between features. And as you can see, not too surprisingly, that the combination of features, linguistic, meta, and network, yields the best performance when I'm taking a look at F1 score. More surprisingly, the GBT model, okay, gradient boost and trees, performed best, even more than the sophisticated models, and we elaborated more in the discussion in the paper. Um, okay, but I, I remind you about the target of, the, of our research. Uh, the target of our research wasn't to come up with the best model. The target of our research was to give some social insights. And how can you do it? So we used SHAP. SHAP is an interpretability a component which, given a model, can allow you to understand the factors behind the model, what pushes the model towards the, his uh, best prediction. So this is exactly what we did. Uh, here in this figure, you can see, if I look at the top, you can see a sharp, um, sharp figure. Each dot is a community. And I just say that the model will discriminate between the positive and the negative class based on this feature, for example, comment M amount normalized, because you can see a well discriminated between the red points and the blue points. 
What it means, it means that comments amount normalized, which is actually the number of comments that the community posted normalized by the size of the community is a very useful feature for the model. Other features, here you can see linguistic features, are vote and discussion, which means that participant communities, those that participated in our place, Abraham, yeah, I mean. sure, um, use words like voting discussion in their uh, discussions before our place. Okay, so back to Wall Street Bets. Surprisingly, Wall Street Bet participated in our place. It's a bit surprising because communities that are investing in stocks did not participate. Okay, I don't have much time to elaborate about this, but we analyze this specific community specifically because of the action they did in 2021. Okay. And this is very interesting to see that they were active in our place and later, four years later, they did a collective action about GameStop stock. Okay, um, summary. So we research communities, engagement of online communities. We use our place as a natural experiment to build predictive models. Later, we use sharp analysis to analyze our models. And we find significant characteristics of engaged communities like seniority and specific words that they use. Future work. So first of all, we're planning to do a, to build models for success level. In this research, we only analyze whether a community participate or not. Next, we want, for example, to see how many pixels they allocate on the canvas. And second thing, amazingly, three weeks ago, there was another experiment of our place, five years, five years after the uh, first uh, experiment. This one was bigger. Okay, you can see the numbers here. I must say that it's a bit different experiment because the uh, Redditors knew about the experiment before the experiment itself. That's it, I'll finish here. Thank you very much. And I may have may take questions. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you very much for this nice presentation and work. Um, is there any question from the attendees? Again, you can just switch on your microphone or uh, write it in the chat. Otherwise, I will have uh, um, uh, at least one. Um, so in, in, in the work here, you're basically, okay, so you, you, you evaluate, let's say, the approach uh, on this specific uh, 2017 uh, uh, R-Blaze uh, event. Right, and then you also provide a sort of an additional validation with the, the most recent uh, case of the Wall Street uh, bet uh, community. Um, in, uh, in both cases, uh, I think you're looking at a situation where you have a, a directed, somehow top-down directed engagement of a community in a single task, right? Or let's say there is a common goal in a way. Uh, um, could you help me maybe see how can we generalize the lesson learned here, right? So, so what sort of, uh, of additional situations uh, can you see as uh, you know, uh, uh, similar or relevant with respect to the one that you analyzed? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, and I think that our model actually captures something bigger than the experiment itself. And I think that what happened with Wall Street bets on 2021 actually illustrates it because there wasn't a, a desired experiment that Reddit created in 2021. The community by itself decided to take a collective action. And if you take a look at our model, the model well predicts that this community can do it. And I think that the, the actual model can predict a specific characteristic, which is kind of hidden. I mean, maybe uh, they have a, uh, strong connection between users and they, they are willing to fight together for a, for a joint effort. And not necessarily the our place experiment, rather other experiments or other efforts that they wish to, to initialize. Fair enough, but I mean, uh, in, uh, while the first one, uh, for instance, was a, a sort of a joyful uh, a game, the second one had actually had some consequences in the real world, right? Because it was about, it actually created turmoil in the financial market. Um, so I, I wonder if the approach in of itself, I mean, can also be used, uh, uh, maybe can even be weaponized somehow. Have you considered that particular situation? Like once you know how to distinguish one of those particular, you know, situation that perhaps you can recreate them? 
on the map? Yeah, we we haven't considered it. it it's a good uh, uh, direction. W one of the m one of my colleagues uh, told me that one uh, interesting thing would be to um, to to tell or to update the, each community. What's the probability to participate? not to participate, but to engage in a joint effort and see whether they are uh, happy about it or maybe they, they are going to change their behavior based on the very low likelihood, for example. But uh, we haven't thought about specific uh, implementation in as you suggested. Rational investigation, eh? because you know how it is. Good. Uh, looking again around uh, the table, if anybody has questions uh, for Abraham about the work, I have a question. Yes, please. It's, it's more like an <laughs> open question. So as you said that the the second one that happened this year was known like known to like everybody before the experiment. So the prior experience in experiment and this year's experiment is very different that they people know that what can, what they can do and achieve as a group. Do you think like how that affect like their behavior? Like, it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's, a, it's a good question. And uh, Reddit, Reddit and Redditors are dealing with it. I mean, mm -hmm. there was a big hype, like a Reddit storm on before April, it, be, before it was known. And, you know, uh, communities gathered. Communities were created for this experiment, OK? So it's a whole different setup. And there were other setups which were different, OK, in 2021. I'm not going to go into deeper into it. but. It, Indeed, it's a different experiment. And for example, people created script to uh, uh, to allocate the pixels bef because they knew there's going to come a new experiment. So it's a whole different setup. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it will be nice, interesting to see how that differs in the results. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Super. 